This is On and Off the Pitch with Gabriel Jesus and Gabriel Martinelli. Gabby, you've got a box in front of you. Now, any of the names of all the players that will be representing Brazil in the World Cup, you're going to pick them out at random and you're going to tell us what they're like on and off the pitch. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. OK, I'm first ready. name. Are you picking all of them, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> you're doing that, OK. Who have we got? First name. Richarlison. OK. What's he like? Tell us a little bit about him. On the pitch, he's a player first. Uh, everyone knows that he's a very good player. Uh, I was in the Olympic Games with him. Uh, he was very important for us to to win to win it. And yeah, I mean he's a very good player. Everyone knows that. And off the pitch, he's he's a very good guy as well. So funny. Is he? Uh, yeah. Always. Is he one of the jokers in the dressing room? Yeah, yeah, always joking around. And yeah, I think everyone in in the team loves him as well. Yeah, I saw that, Gabby. I saw um, he did a post on his Instagram, all of his family reacting to getting called up to the squad. And it was so good to see how happy he was to make the Brazil squad. And on the comments below, you put, you deserve this so much, which I thought was such a classy message because you obviously play for rival clubs with Tottenham and Arsenal and obviously you play in the same position as well. But does that show just how strong the team spirit is at Brazil? Yeah, yeah. We are like a family, you know. Everyone loves uh, love his other. Uh, everyone, of course, wants to play, but everyone respect, you know. Uh, I think the Brazilian squad is, is amazing. Yeah. If you talk about quality, if you talk about uh, players, you can see. So, yeah, I put that. I, I, normally, I don't comment no. the, uh, photos of this thing, but I think uh, Richardson have been doing so good in national team as well, so he deserves a lot. And then I congratulation to him. Classic. To Gabi as well. Yeah, it's very good that. And, and his little Prue celebration as well. He's got a few celebrations, hasn't he? Yeah, a lot, a lot. You can see, you know, uh, they love uh, Brazilian players have yeah. to to play for Brazil, you know. So that is is amazing. We cannot describe because you know it's amazing. We I think uh, grow up uh, dream uh, play for uh, for Brazil in World Cup. So that's that's just amazing. Okay, next name. No pressure, Gabby. Who are you going for? Bruno Gimresh, oh, okay. Yes. Another player who's having a really good season. What, what's he like to come up against? Because obviously you come up against him in the Premier League and, and in training for Brazil again. Tell us a little bit about what he's like. I love this boy. He's so good on the ball. Mm. Uh, so important for the team. He was with me in the Olympic Games as well. and uh, I've seen how skillful he is and mm. his quality. Uh, for me, he's one of the best uh, midfielders in the world. Uh, he just became a, a father. Uh, congratulations to him. Mm. And yeah, I mean, he's a very good guy as well. A very good player. And uh, yeah, I think he'll be so important for us in this World Cup as well. Yeah, some praise that. One of the best midfielders, you call him, in the world. Off the pitch, is he quite quiet? Is he outgoing? What, what's he like? He's a he, good guy, you know. Yeah. He's quiet. Like, is he? Not as, uh, not as no loud as Charleston. Yeah, no, 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 no. Opposite. <laughs> the opposite, opposite of Charleston, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, opposite. But like I've said, he controls the game, you yeah. know. He's the balance, you know, on the pitch. So he's so quality with the ball. Without the ball, he run a lot. He help a lot the team. And then uh, as a person, mm. I just know him in a national team, but I can feel he's a good guy as well. Yeah. Yeah, great season he's having, isn't he, for Newcastle. Newcastle fans absolutely love him. Um, let's go for the next one. Give it a little shake. Who's next? Chichir. Anthony. OK, another, another player that's come to the Premier League. A lot of players playing in the Premier League. Tell us a little bit about him. Is he one of the most skillful players in training? Because I imagine there's a lot of technically gifted players in the Brazil squad. Is he one of the most skillful? It's you difficult. Say? You choose one the most, you know. I right. don't say Neymar, of course. Yeah, of course. But uh, I think everyone, you know, have a quality to do things, you know. But Anthony shows us uh, he's skillful, yeah. he's a quality player. He's so good guy. I love him as do well. You? Yeah, he's so good guy. Uh, I'm so happy for him, you know, to come here. And, and um, Premier League is not easy mm. to play, and he show his quality. He play amazing the first game. Unfortunately for us, he scored yeah, against us, and then uh, he play good. So yeah, uh, like I said, I love him as a person and uh, as a player as well. Some praise. Let's go straight <laughs> to the next one because there's quite a few names. So we'll uh, we'll go to the next one. 
You're not looking, I like it. <laughs> Taking it very seriously, <laughs> Gabby, this, I like <laughs> it. <laughs> Who's the next out? Neymar, okay. Let's talk about Neymar. He's only two goals away from equaling Pele's record. Um, phenomenal player. Where do you think he ranks in terms of Brazil's greatest ever players? Because there's been so many top players over the years for Brazil. For me, not, not just for me, I think. In the world, everyone can, can say that he's one of the best mm. uh, in the world and one of the greatest players that have played for Brazil. And yeah, everyone in, in the team just loves him and know how important he is for the team and he's one of the captains and yeah i think uh, he inspires a lot of a lot of boys and with me wasn't different uh, i look at him and uh, i see a, a player and a and a guy that uh, i respect a lot and you know uh, i want to be and off the pitches I don't know him very well because I've been in the national team just twice or three times. Uh, Gab can talk a bit more about him, but uh, what I can what I can say is that uh, I have a lot of respect uh, about him, and uh, I love the way that he plays, and he's one of the best players in the world. Yeah, one of the best players in the world, huge player. What, what's he like to play alongside Gabby? Because you know him so well. You're good mates with him, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my first play with him was 16, 2016. So yeah, we went to Olympics as well uh, together. And uh, season from there, we play a lot together. And then, uh, as Gabi say, as a player, mm. <clears throat> he's unbelievable. One of the best in the world for you. Yeah, I yeah. think one of, I think the best player I have played with. The best know. player you've ever played with in your career. Yeah, of course, yeah, for sure. And then uh, I love him as well <laughs> outside of the pitch. Off the pitch, he's amazing. He's so good guy. Yeah. His behavior, you know, he's so uh, humble. Mm. He like like mm. to be with family, with friends. That's that that you know the f uh, football player life is uh, really difficult yeah. about these things. And then he loves to be with uh, his friend, his family, and that's more important for me, you know. And then uh, he's a good guy and. About, about as a player, everyone knows no? yeah. his quality. So yeah, for me, one of the great uh, I have I have seen. Tell us a bit about off the pitch then, because we've all seen what he's like on the pitch. Off the pitch, did you have a bit of a laugh and a joke? Is he one of the, the jokers? Yeah, in he the always squad? he always, always joking, uh, dancing, <laughs> singing. So yeah, he's one of the 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 funnies as well. Is he? Oh, yeah. Is he the best dancer then? Would you say? You say he's always mm. dancing and joking. Who's who's the best dancer in the Brazil squad? Would you say? Mm. Paqueta. I would say Paqueta. Yeah, Lucas Paqueta. Yeah, Paqueta. Okay. Yeah. He takes a, if there was a dance opportunity, <coughs> the name yeah, he'd win. Yeah, yeah, he teach okay. everyone. That, <laughs> yeah, he teach everyone. Wow. Vin Vinicius as well, but Paqueta yeah. I think is. The most. Wow, okay. And did I read that you and Neymar have got matching tattoos? Is that right? You had the same tattoos? Uh, two, I think. One uh, I just uh, see in the internet, you know, yeah. was uh, this this one. No, yeah. This one. A lot of tattoos. Yeah. yeah. A, a little bit different of uh, his, his tattoo because I put my place, my old place name, you know, but it's quite same and the Olympics. Wow. The same, yeah. So you've got the same ones of where you grow, grew up in Brazil to yeah. similar to inspire you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I think everyone's, you know, in Brazil is normal. Everyone's yeah. uh, come from one place with difficulties, and then uh, you know you try to be a footballer, and then you drink. Yeah, and that's why. Amazing. Let's go to the next one. Gabby, do you want to pick this one? Who are we going to go with next? So many great players in this Brazil squad, of course. <laughs> Jaffe's goal. <laughs> Alisson. Yeah, talk to me about Alisson. I mean, Brazil, should we do both keepers here? Because Alisson and Edison, I mean, two unbelievable keepers. I mean, just incredible <clears throat> strength and depth that Brazil have in gold, isn't it? Yeah, he's so good. Uh, when, I, when I went to the national team last time, uh, when we played against Japan and South Korea, mm. I remember when we were in training, and uh, I came 1v1 with him and mm. he's so difficult, he's so big and... Is he one of the toughest goalkeepers you've ever faced in training? Yeah, for sure, I think. Yeah. And how mm. do they compare, Alisson and Edison? 
As a striker, Gabby, I'm intrigued to know because they're both such good keepers. I'm not going to ask who's better because that's probably not fair to ask, but how do they compare in training? Is there one that, that's, that's tougher to score past, one that's better with their feet? How, how do you think they compare as goalkeepers? Both are difficult to play against. <laughs> uh, I have played more against uh, Edes, of course, in training session. Of course. But I have played against Alisson in Brazil as well yeah. and here. So, so difficult. I think... Uh, Is it annoying for you playing yeah, against them? Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, three, four times... I w no, two times I went against him 1v1 and yeah. he defended my shot. Really? And then it was a good shot, to be honest, and then he defended because Alisson is so big, he opened. And Ederson as well, in the transition, all the time we, are, <laughs> we was like uh, doing uh, betting everything because, you know, he's so good, he's so good. Yeah. I think uh, Brazil have a really good keepers, even uh, with uh, Everton in Brazil, yes. yeah. he's so good keeper as well. Uh, yeah, we are lucky to, to have uh, these keepers, you know. Can Edison play outfield? A lot of people talk about how good he is with his feet. Does he join in in training outfield? Would he be good enough to play outfield, do you, you think? You can see at City, sometimes he he just go with the he ball, you know, to, yeah. uh, if, he, if you let him go, he go to half line. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think he can play, <laughs> you know, but... He has a quality. Yeah. Okay. Play. So we've done both keepers. Let's move on now to uh, the next one. I like how seriously you're taking this with the, uh, right, the rest of the players. Who have we got? Thiago Silva, 38 years of age. Uh, what a player. Gabby, talk to us about what he's like to play against. Is he, is he one of the toughest defenders you've ever played against, would you say? Yeah, of course. He's one of the best defenders in the world as well. Mm. Uh, he's 38 and you see him playing now, it's unbelievable. Yeah. We played against against him uh, last week, and yeah. you can see his quality, uh, his composure. So he's so good, and a very good guy off the pitch as well. Is he one of the players, as and more experienced players, that that helped you settle into the squad? Yeah, I mean everyone in the team tried to help me. Uh, in Brazil, we, uh, like Gab said, we are we are a family, and mm. everyone loves each other. And I think this is a this is the most important thing because. When you go there and you are young, mm. uh, you feel you feel welcomed, you know. So I think this is uh, very good for for the players that are going for the first time and they feel like a bit a pressure, you know, because yeah. they are young and they see Thiago, Neymar, Casemiro, Gabi. Yeah. So they they make you feel welcome and this is very good. Nice to hear. Okay, let's go to the next one. Straight in. Who have we got here? Danny Alves. Danny Alves, wow. We're talk talking about Thiago Silva being 38. Danny Alves is 39. The most decorated player in the history of football. Won over 40 trophies, which is incredible. The one trophy he hasn't won, interestingly, is the World Cup. Do you feel that could be written in the stars, maybe? Yeah. He's won everything else. I hope uh, <laughs> yes, so, yeah. you know, he put on uh, his... Uh, his house. Does he have room for it in his house? I think. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he, he has to be big or massive. <laughs> yeah, How many trophies? So everyone knows Daniel as well, you oh. know. In that time at Barcelona, mm. Sevilla, you know, in Brazil national team, he was he's still uh, so good. Uh, he's an amazing player. Mm. What a quality, you know, there on the right. So. Yeah, he's an amazing player. I just enjoyed to play uh, with him. Mm. And then uh, as a guy, he's a good guy as well. Yeah. It's difficult to say, you know, about uh, personal life because uh, everyone is so good in Brazil. Everyone mm. is so like family, so nice guy, you know. And then Danny is like this as well. I want to ask you about him off the pitch because I've seen that he's released a rap video, Suave. Have you seen this? He's a bit of a rapper. He's, he's a little bit crazy. That's <laughs> Is he why a bit crazy? he call himself uh, Don Crazy. <laughs> Does he? That's his yeah, nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a little bit crazy. He, okay. Not crazy, I think. He's just enjoy the life. Enjoy his life. life you yeah, know? I know what you mean. Uh, the way he, he want, the way he think is the right. So, yeah, I like his behaviour Is, is he yeah, the best like. singer, best rapper in the squad, do you think? Because mm. he's, he's reaching the end of his career. Could you see that being a career after football, to go into mm. singing and rapping full-time? Mm. You're not so sure? No, I don't think so. <laughs> do you agree, Gabby? You yeah, can't I see think it. it. No, I cannot say anything. I'm too young in the national terms. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young to respect yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well said, yeah, top player. OK, let's move on. OK, here we got Gabriel Martinelli, the man sat next to you. How pleased, Gabby, were you 
for Gabby to be called up to the Brazil squad. You can't speak about yourself. No? No, can <laughs> Go on, tell us about the call up, how, how much it meant to you. It meant a lot. I was at my house with my friend, my, my family, they, yeah. they are in Brazil, but I was in the phone with, with them. And when I, when I heard my name, I, I couldn't even talk. I, I really? I cried for one hour. You cried for a whole hour when you got yeah, the call? Wow. I couldn't even talk. I need to turn off the phone and call them later because I was so, so, so happy, buzzing. Uh, I don't know what I, what I felt. I was just, just crying. It was, was one of the, the most important moments in my life and my family's life as well. Wow, amazing. And same question to you, Gabby, because obviously your name's in the hat as well. Hi, it's um, many, okay. How you felt with, with your reaction. I don't think many people were too surprised because you're both having great seasons, but just your reaction to getting the call up and just what it means to you to go to the World Cup with Brazil. Like, I got, like Gabby, I was at home mm. and then I'm alone, you know, my family, my whole family in Brazil. So I was alone in my bed, uh, just in front of TV uh, watching. And then I, when I saw my, when I heard my name, I was like, wow. Like, I remember in the first time I have called, not for World Cup, last World Cup, but for the first time I went to national team and then was so emotional, mm. you know. I think, like I said before, everyone in Brazil, all the players feel the same because uh, I know you guys don't know how the, the, the feeling to, to, to be a, a Brazilian player mm. because, you know, we grow up seeing so many greatest players, you know, and, and we want to be a footballer as well. Yeah. And then when you just call up, to go uh, where a lot of greatest player play is just amazing, you know. Mm. And then I was like crying and pff, just emotional, you know. Wow. I couldn't move as well. And then I start to call my my mom, my 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 baby, everyone, because it's it's just amazing for us. Just amazing. Yeah. And just finally, quickly, how do you rate your chances? A lot of people are saying Brazil are one of the favourites. So how do you rate your chances going into the World Cup? It's difficult to say, you know. Uh, Brazil, every competition play is uh, the, 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 the good one to win. You know? yeah. I don't know what the people say, but uh, we have to be honest, you know. It's a World Cup, it's a lot of teams uh, could win the, the World Cup. We are going there to, to try, you know, mm -hmm. and to, to go for it. Really go for it. Yeah, well, all the best to the World Cup. Uh, all the best. Hope, I'm sure we'll see some of the celebrations, maybe, after the goal, the phone celebration. Gabby, congratulations. Gabby, congratulations. Enjoy the World Cup. Enjoyed that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So Thank much. you.